how do you know? Is it actually pushing Epi? I, like, I could have just gave it to him 10 times right there. I don't know. I don't know. Um... All right, guys, we're back at it with more Merge NYC. Going to be doing review requests for uh, an EMS run today. We've got our call already spawned in. It's going to be uh, a car wreck. Auto extrication with injuries uh, on Ralph Avenue. It's going to be engine 227, ladder 123, rescue 2, squad 252, and battalion 37 all responding. So, uh, and of course, we'll respond in the ambulance as well. Let's go ahead and jump on uh, engine 227. And uh, we'll get him there. We'll take him and rescue and squad. We'll AI. Um, we'll AI uh, the ladder. That's what I'm trying to say. I couldn't get it out. We'll AI the ladder. That'll work out. All right. Let's uh, struggle with this door here for a second. There we go. It would not be a spur video without me ranting about the doors, right? Like I've had people mention that. The, do <laughs> the doors give me a hard time. They have such an incredibly big click box, like, you know? I mean, seriously, like, you could just see, yeah, see, there it is. It's like the click box is down here. All right, let's get at it. Let's get out of here. I'll tell you guys right now, Spurs dragging. Kids went back to school. We haven't been uh, getting up at the crack of dawn. Come on, why are you doing that, Postman? It's gotta be a pain. So I've been getting up extremely early and I was wiped last night. Like I was in bed by 9.30. That's the earliest I've gone to bed and I couldn't tell you how long because we've just been so tired. All right, it's literally just right down the street. Let's jump on uh, Rescue 2, we'll bring him. Chief O'Connell's brother, right? Another door we have to deal with. Pop in, we won't worry about turnout gear. Uh, engine parking brake lights. Let's do all the things. Let's get out of here quick. Quickly with a quickness. Let's see. We're going to run wrong way, but uh, we'll use the bike lane. That's, this is like the most requested piece of equipment I think I get. Rescue 2. That and the tiller ladder. The tiller ladders are probably a, a close uh, tie, but... We'll do nothing but uh, Q and train horn today. That should be nice and different. This bike lane comes in handy, I'm telling you. Luckily, we don't have any bike riders. That could be really bad. All right, we're here. We made it in one piece. Good job, Spur. All right, let's pull over by the uh, wreck. We'll have this guy kind of, no, no, no. You need to back up, dude. Go somewhere else. We need some traffic control here because these guys suck. You know what? We'll just park right here. It'll be fine. I'm not even gonna try to deal with him. I'm not gonna try to deal with the traffic. All right, let's jump on squad 252. Do all the things, let's get him rolling. He should have a regular queue as well. Yeah, he does. Very nice. Uh, which way? Let's see. To the left. All right, let's roll. Let's go. Ah, oh, they're yielding. Nice. Okay. Let's park right here. All right, we should be good. All right, time for water, water time. Probably could have done this with a can. Like it goes out in no time. We'll rinse under the car as well too, just to be safe. In case there's some gas up under there, maybe we'll rinse it into the gutter. All right, I think we're good with that. Let's drop this here, let's hop up. And we'll check our patient, we'll see what's going on with him. Oh yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. You know, I will kill this pump first. It, it's kind of loud. There you go. And no one have time for that. We don't want to listen to that the whole time. All right, back to our patient. What's going on with him? Pull all that down. We don't need that. Uh, yeah, he's up over the dash. His hand is through the windshield. Uh, he's a bloody mess. He's got his track suit on, so that's good. At least he's uh, dressed comfortably. Uh, let's toggle the MS menu. Let's see what's going on. It's uh, Andy Gersh. 
Uh, what's going on with Andy today? Uh, he's not breathing. He's got black soot around his mouth and nose. Audible trouble breathing. Patient's not breathing. We definitely understand that he's not breathing. That's pretty apparent. Patient's breathing is slow and shallow, but he's not breathing. I, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, his torso, nothing out of the ordinary, but it's showing that there's a problem there. I'm really kind of surprised that he doesn't have uh, a neck injury or a spinal injury or something going on. He does have two broke limbs. He's got uh, a broke arm and a broke leg. And he's dead. His pulse is zero. His blood pressure is zero as well. He's zero respiration, so... Uh, yeah, dude is not doing well at all. Okay. Um, let's do this real fast. Let's go back to his head and let's put him in neck collar. There you go. See collars set. And now we need to get, uh, yeah, we need to get the spreaders, get those doors off and we'll pull them out and get them treated. And hopefully we can bring them back. The spur has done it before. We brought them back before. I'm not like getting my hopes up too much on this, but we'll see. All right, let's get the spreaders. We'll do uh, driver's side and then passenger side and then We'll see about getting them out. All right. I know I can pop these doors off. I've done it plenty of times. I know it still works. This is actually the second time doing this video. I had a problem with the first time, so I know I can pop the doors off. Like, they're going to do it. There we go. I knew it would. I just wish we could... Uh, I wish we could pick the door up and move it. Like, you can't move it by hand. Come on. Anytime now. Anytime now. All right. Let's go back again. There we go. All right, we're good. Let's see what he looks like there. Uh, he is in his tracksuit, so that's good. Uh, hand is through the windshield. Yeah, he is, oof. Yeah, that's not good. All right, let's drop this over here and let's check him out again. Really need to get this door out of here. Yeah, we can't move it. I wish we could mouse click it and move it. That would be great if we could do that. Like, I don't know how we're gonna, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just hang tight, whoa, whoa, whoa. We can get it this way. There we go. All right, door's been removed. He didn't seem to care for that too much, so. Oh, man, look at his legs. Like, his arm is up under. It's like he's in there doing yoga moves or something. <laughs> um, Let's get him out. Let's get him on the backboard. And we'll start treating him. And then we need to bring the ambulance, too. We'll bring that in just a second. Actually, you know what? Let's go on and do that now. Let's bring the ambulance now. I don't want to get him out. And on the ground because I'm worried something might happen. So, you know what? Let's just get the ambulance. There we go. All right, hop in you. Do all the things. Uh, which way do we need to go? Okay, I think we're good. There, right, just swing down this one way here and we should be good. Just make another right and we'll be like practically on top of it. All right, we're here. Nice. All right. We have zero traffic control, but you know what? That's all right. I don't even care. All right, let's hop out. And I think what we'll do is we'll use a paramedic from this point on to treat this guy and get him taken care of. Let's get the stretcher out of there. All right, let's drop this, lower it down, and we'll get a backboard. Actually, let's see if we can pull them out. Yeah, that ain't happening. He is stuck. Yeah, we're gonna have to kind of fudge that a little bit. Sometimes you can pull them out. More often than not, you can't though, so. He's wedged in there really good. All right, so uh, let's see, what do we, is it under treatment? I can't remember. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's under treatment. Does look like he's bleeding just a little bit. Maybe just a tad. All right, let's see what he looks like now. Um, yeah, he's still dead. Let's hook him to a vitals monitor. Can we get him on there? It doesn't look like that's working now because we got him on the backboard, maybe. Let's intubate him. Let's administer oxygen. Let's give him uh, epi, epinephrine. Did we get his heart started back? And can we not put him on a vitals monitor? Why can't we do that? Probably the old school way here. See if we can do it that way. Treatments. Shock. Yeah, we don't want to shock him. We definitely don't want to do that. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't even see the option to do it. I guess we're just going to have to do it manually. See what it looks like here. What is going on with you, Andy? Oh, he's still dead. Um, I, I wish there was a way, like, it would give you a check mark or something to let you know that that's been done. Like, that task is completed because right now you have, like, no clue. You have zero clue whether this stuff is doing other than the visual. Well, there's no visual for medicine, so how do you know? Is it actually pushing Epi? I, like, I could have just gave it to him ten times right there. I don't know. I don't know. Um... Oh, he's back. Oh, well, okay. The 10 rounds of uh, Epi definitely did it then. His uh, temperature is 90. His pulse is 50. Blood pressure is 81 over 41. And uh, his respirations are 7. So he's back with us. Nice. Okay. Good job, Spur. We did it. We brought him back. Um, let's see about getting him loaded up. Spur, I feel like I worked for this one. I really did. We brought him back. We saved his life. I'm tired. Like I said, it's been a rough morning already. It's been a rough morning. All right, let's load them up. Uh, where's that? Right there. Sweet. And we'll close doors. You know what? We'll take them to the. Uh, we'll take them to the hospital if I can find it on the map. We'll take them to the hospital and we'll see if we can take them inside. All right, let's go. I think we just need to take them straight down Atlantic. It looks like. Yeah, I see the uh, the symbol for it. So we'll let these guys clean up the scene. And we'll run him down here to the uh, emergency room. We'll take him inside. There's not much else we can do, but you guys can at least see because I never show that part of it. It would be cool. It would be cool if we could do more. Whoa, what are you doing? All right, let's see. Where? I guess we're going to take him right here because I don't know if we have an entry on the other side there. All right, let's get them out. At this hospital, you just park in the street. Everyone has to wait. Can we get them back out? Uh, yeah, we can. Sweet. All right. All right, here we go. All right, we got a young male uh, in a car accident. Uh, he's got uh, a broken arm, a broke leg. He was deceased upon arrival. We did bring him back. We pushed like uh, 10 or 15 of Epi and brought him back <laughs> so he's kind of okay i guess you know what we'll just leave him right here let's drop it and uh lower it you know what we're just gonna drop it we'll just leave it right there all right dude take care i hope you do well i hope you get better anyway that's gonna do it for this one guys hope y'all enjoyed it. if you did please be sure to hit that like subscribe ring that bell leave me a comment love all you guys thank you so much uh, we're on the road to 5,000. i can't wait to hit that milestone and uh, we'll catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace. All right, guys. We're back at it. We're emerged.